गाइस वेलकम टू माय शीनीज दिस इज विनी इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट माइक्रो कंट्रोलर ईएसपी कंट्रोलर ईएसपी 32 ईएसपी 82 66 ईएसपी सीरीज इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट एस इज is one of the most successful micro controllers out there in the market and uh, it's available at very decent price in fact back in the days companies in india made a lot of money with small small dongles they call it dongles it creates wifi network for you with a sim card uh, and you can create a, a bunch of uh, hosts with it so we are introducing the esp series and uh, we'll be doing we'll be taking some projects as example and then you can explore on your own how to do stuff or you can post in comments what you uh, like to have help up with and we'll try to create another project for you so let me introduce ESP microcontroller series so along with the video we will talk about many other things about ESP what we can do with the ESP what is made for uh, how you can get it uh stuff like that what kind of products you can run with it uh, we will talk in details in um, so let's get started with ESP series of microcontroller okay guys we are going to introduce a bunch of ESP uh microcontrollers in this video as you can see there is one particularly okay there are smaller versions of um, ESP uh these microcontrollers you can buy according to uh the features you require on board as you require the features on board something like this one it's built up for gsm technology you can have okay guys before even starting this series of esp i can tell you definitely you can do a lot with esp series you can do a lot with this esp chip This chip is amazing and until I didn't know what this chip can do uh honestly that I I don't have words to explain uh, you just have to buy one and explore how it goes this this chip is is amazing okay okay so here is another one this one is called ESP32 cam it is specifically built for camera functions you can install the libraries you can um, Uh, download the libraries in the project and uh, have images you can have still image or you can have video images you can see the images on local network or if you are attached with any network you can upload um, the images direct to the cloud to any website or any server where you would like to uh, here's another one this one is running the same chip as we have here this one they both are the same chip there are endless functions you can run with these with this esp uh, microcontrollers you can uh, uh, just one of the examples you can create a wifi network and have bunch of computers transferring data in between just with a little current you can attach with uh, any usb with the minimum of 5 voltage okay so uh, the esp microcontroller family it's uh, made up of bunch of controllers bunch of different models according to the requirement they they created just a separate chip for it something like this you can run gsm functions on it you can run actually a real time phone with this chip yes no kidding uh, with the speaker and with the microphone you can have a sim card dial up any connection you can have uh, actually let me tell you one more thing uh, with this technology with the gsm chip we run actually the uh, the home security systems if anybody breach the security system this microcontroller actually calls uh, whatever the dedicated number in the script in the program it actually calls or ring any bell if it is attached or if you like to attach any external uh, alert system yes it is a fully functional home security system yep yeah. um another example i can um, show you here is dst 
temperature monitor this little device this little component I will be introducing shortly the other components you can use but uh, for an, just for an example this small little sensor gives you the data the, the it gives you the temperature data and the humidity okay yeah uh, we in order to make this chip running what you like to do you have to run a little code in it we'll be introducing little, little projects that you can utilize in your home or business environment okay let me introduce some of the electronic components you can attach with the ESP there are endless components you can attach with this microcontroller but uh, some of them something like this you can attach a brushless or regular DC motor with this you can actually attach four motors brushless motors or uh, DC motors with this and have control via ESP you can attach brushless motors same like the regular uh, it can work same like the traditional uh, flight controller okay you can control yes you can control drone motors you can make actually a flight controller with this ESP yeah and another one uh, you can attach screen display you can attach uh, a GPS like this one is running right now it's currently giving me data on the cloud yep we will be introducing how to um, how to run GPS uh, how to see the GPS location on cloud or how to uh, integrate this script the another component I'm going to introduce is this one this is actually a distance if, if anything comes in front it tells you hey there is a an obstacle in front of me and this is the distance I measured this is how far that obstacle is in front of me this is like you know eyes of a robot or a drone or something like that you can say okay and another one I am going to introduce this is the this is the gyro Okay, the same gyro that we can find in Pixhawk flight controller or any other microcontroller you can find. This is electronic gyroscope. The gyro gives you acceleration and uh, ZYX uh, uh, points. Yeah, the gyroscopes tell you what is the attitude of the uh, of the plane of the drone and what is the speed. Here is another one I can there's a speaker a little speaker and here are the LEDs yes you can attach endless LEDs with ESP chip and have lighten up your your house or your project with the you may have to use the resistance somewhere uh, in order to control uh, the voltage these are just bunch of the components uh, I am introducing that you can attach with ESP microcontroller. It totally depends on your project or your requirement what you would like to have the output. You can attach that component with ESP and have the data. Okay, so let's move on, guys. Let's uh, let's see how we can uh, let's see the first step how we can use this chip. Mm -hmm.